Hello everyone, we are here at the Yarra Lumla Gallery and the Oaks Brasserie in Canberra. And I had to read it off Australia. the card. <laughs> yes, Australia. <laughs> I have no idea what it means, but we think it has a heritage of um, Aboriginal heritage, so we're going to find out what it means. And I wanted to say a big thank you to Elaine here, who is the boss, who has allowed us straight away when I walk in. She said, I said, may we film? We're, moving around the world filming amazing healing moments and uh, practitioners and people etc and she said David of course you can straight away and I said that is so refreshing I'm so grateful to Elaine for allowing this to happen and I'm standing here with Jennifer and Jennifer is um, releasing the victim <laughs> she's releasing the victim and I know what it feels like to release the victim it feels a bit like this <laughs> and I like it. And I'm like this. Yeah, Yay! like that. It's like releasing the victim because we are no longer victims. <laughs> because we're looking at life and, and looking at healing. And your photographic exhibition is a journey of your life. And Jennifer Naji, this is your stage. This is your life. This is your journey. Please yes. share. Please share. Um, well, releasing the victim within, actually, if I can take this, mm -hmm. is a, um, a book that I put together on a reflective healing journey of my marriage breaker. I'm a photographer and when my marriage ended, I used to go on a lot of long walks and one of the ladies, Ruth Rowan Jones, who was my massage therapist, suggested I could start um, expressing my grief artistically. So I started taking my camera with me when I went on walks. And to start with, I was looking down at the ground because I was feeling very down and depressed. And I started um, being very mesmerised by all the reflections in the water. And so I was primarily photographing all these reflections. Almost fell in the water a couple of times <laughs> as well. And then as the journey progressed, and I started thinking a lot more about what was actually going on within me and stepping back and observing my thoughts. I realised that I was starting to feel a lot more happier and lighter and then I wanted to create work about that happiness and lightness. Yeah, just a few words that you put onto each um, photograph and I've looked at sitting with Ruth at the table. It's fascinating, you know, we'll all re read something different maybe into the photograph. Yes, The yeah. colours are stunning and it was just, uh, just a beautiful way of expressing. Mm. So, I mean, where are you now? I mean, where are you in your life? And, um, how are you feeling as far as the pictures are concerned? Which is the one that you would say where you're at right now? In where this I'm moment? at right now in this moment? Um, moments change and <laughs> shift. I'm, I'm, I still struggle with my mind and the thoughts that I think. And actually one of the pieces I've worked with the text underneath um, says hell or heaven all dependent on our thoughts. And and that's something daily that I have to remember because I don't na I'm not naturally a positive thinker and I have to um, always pull myself back and try and remember all these really great words like gratitude and trust and be in the now and acceptance and laughter and to breathe. And part of the reason why I made this panel was um, purely for myself as a reminder of, um, of words that are really important that that gradually get you to wisdom. <laughs> so where are you right now on those lists, to, in this moment now? Oh, laughter, because you're very funny. <laughs> Your whole crew is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, that's true. Now, can we have a look at this one that you just mentioned earlier, this one? Um, uh, hell or heaven, all let's, dependent. Let's go over and have a look at it now. Okay. Hell or heaven, all dependent on my thoughts. So just explain that a little bit. Explain that in how you saw that image and how it came to be? Well, these could either be the gates of hell or the gates of heaven, really. <laughs> and it's a reflection of a, of a gate. Um, 
So, I don't know, life, life in some ways is a reflection, what you, what you think is reflected back to you all the time. And that's why the beginning of my book is predominantly reflections, because it's me reflecting on what I'm thinking, on what I'm feeling.